So what's happening right now is council workers are uh, removing one of our structures with the support, I suppose, of, as you can see, a whole lot of police officers. Uh, for a couple of seconds there, I kind of held on to it, but um, my man here told me that there's a plan to simply let it go, so I let go of the structure. Uh, these are the riot police. They're the scary ones. These are the actual cops over here. All right? These are the ones we think of as the human beings. And these ones are the scary ones who uh, commit acts of violence against members of Occupy Melbourne. And as you see, the intimidation happens every single day. Uh, this is what we're up against. The threat of violence every day. This is what we're dealing with. This is what we're working with. Uh, intimidating situations every day. So it's you can't really call what we're doing here camping, can you? It really is an occupation. Uh, we are occupying. We're not camping. It's definitely political. And now it looks like they're going to take off, having removed a marquee that keeps the sun off us. Also, it'd be good to point out that. The water has been turned off at the only tap that's nearby, so they're going to try and dehydrate us out of the camp as well. Thanks for that, guys. That was really awesome. Appreciate your work. Uh, feel free to take a holiday for a few weeks. So this is what a police state looks like. Really? Like you think you're free? There's no way you're free. You're not free. You aren't free. You are living in a gilded cage of cheap in, imported products designed to keep you happy, but they don't. I've had this phone for two years. And it's already dying on me. So there you go. Every fucking day. Occupy Melbourne, scary shit. But there you go. That's the business.